Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner, greener beauty, skincare, and beyond. I try products out for you so you know what to buy and more importantly, what possibly not to buy. Today I am back with a comparison, a little battle between the My Shell Sun Shield Liquid SPFs I have the tinted version and I have the untinted version. If you're thinking about buying these, if you're in the market for a cleaner SPF, stick around and let's get into it. So the My Shell Sun Protection Sun Shield Liquid SPF, it's just like, I always, I've loved this for a long time, the tinted version, and I always, always mess up the name for some reason. So you think I would get it, but I digress. I have this in the light medium shade. There are three shades available for the tinted version. And then there's the not tinted version over here. Let's just start with a couple of similarities here. Oh, before I dive in, if you find reviews like these help, I, I can't even use my, I speak with my hands. So now I'm like bottle hand girl. If you find reviews like this helpful and you want to keep seeing more of them, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I put out new videos every week, so you will not miss a thing. They're both $24, but they're on sale right now at Pharmaca. They both have SPF 50. They do have different percentages of zinc. The non-tinted has 20.5% zinc. The tinted version has 16.1% zinc. Oh. I prefer a zinc that's a little bit higher or at 20%. That's just a personal preference. I also want to mention that this guy has been in the Brits picks for a long time. If you're a subscriber, you're already nodding. You're like, yes, we know. The clear one or the untinted one, I hadn't really given a full in-depth review for a while. There's some other My Shell products that I want to review too, like the spray, see if it's a lower priced option compared to the Yerba Mate 100% pure SPF spray that I talk about a lot over here. Speaking of coverage, okay, so the non-tinted option here, the one big million dollar question with SPFs is, does it leave a white cat? The texture I found to be a little bit thicker than the tinted version here. Didn't really like the texture, did not prefer it. I actually preferred the tinted texture. Felt a little bit lighter to work with, a little easier to glide across the face. When I applied this, yes, I could see a white cast. It wasn't severe, but it was absolutely there and that was Oh, not great. The coverage with the tinted is more skin looks like skin. There's not a lot of dewiness, which is great for those of us that don't really want that high shine right now, especially in an SPF, but want a little bit of coverage. So the tinted version really won for me when it came to coverage and overall finish. So the other thing that has come up recently in comments for these SPFs is the question about the EWG rating. Here is what EWG said. Based on EWG's modeling, the UV protection is significantly lower than the SPF value would indicate. So to me, my interpretation as a reader of their website, this is a direct quote from their website, my shell is claiming SPF 50 strong UV protection and that's false. So I don't, I don't know where to go to determine whether that's true or false, but if you look at the ingredients list in the EWG ratings, I'm not seeing anything fly off the handle with a six or a 10. I also don't believe that the EWG is gospel. I think it's a great starting point. It helps support the research if you need to figure things out and you don't wanna feel overwhelmed. Sometimes it can be a little bit like, that's gonna give you cancer. It's a little scary over there. So again, take it with a grain of salt. I'm gonna follow up with my shell and just see if they have a response to that. I'm not sure what they're gonna say. FYI, this is what I sent over to my shell and EWG. I will let you know as soon as I hear back. I just wanted to kind of hop on here and discuss that a little bit with you. If you hear or you see comments like this or saying that these types of SPFs aren't following through on their claims, talk to the brand and see what the brand says. If you're not comfortable with their answer and you don't feel like it was clear or transparent, I'm telling you, there's plenty more SPFs to go around. If I were to pick between these two, if you haven't already noticed, I would pick the tinted version hands down. I much prefer it to the untinted version. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but I will figure something out. And that is all I have for today. What do you think about these two? And what is your take? I hesitate to say this because I feel like it's gonna get kind of crazy in the comments, but keep it friendly, be kind, don't scare people. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about these two? Do you like another sunscreen altogether? Do you think the US sunscreens are just sharing is caring? Keep the conversation going. I think we can all learn together and not freak each other out. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will be right back here real soon. Until then, bye.